Okay, today we're going to look at an ATM oil filter, number 2-OTT001. It's made in Thailand, and you can get this at Napo Auto Parts for $7.49. So let's get at it. It looks like it's have a metal support. It's supposed to be. Okay, let's take a look at this filter. That's the box. Let's see, we got your date code. Looks like 9L9J6. Made in Thailand again. Instructions how to put it on. 30% more larger fleet area with M-pleat filter element design. Hmm, we'll have to see about that. And there's your part numbers. It's got a plastic film over the end, the end uh, base plate here. Keep it nice and clean in there. Looks like a silicone anti-drain back valve by the cover. It's like an orange. It's like an orange and plus it says it's a silicone anti-drain back valve and I see a bypass valve down there and I see a metal inner core with holes no louvers okay let's cut this filter open and see what she looks like inside okay here she is cut open it's a base plate O-ring, it's on there pretty good. It's actually better on there than most. It's got like a little lip here. It goes into groove here. Let's see if you can see that. So it fits in there nice. Yeah, this is actually a nice design right here. I like this. This is good. A lot better than most filters. They just most filters they just pop on. This has got a nice design. And it seems like a normal amount of threads you have there. Yeah, this is all good. And it's got a silicone anti drain back valve, which is nice. You can see how flexible that is. It springs right back. And your filter media, it's got the metal end caps. Bypass valve. I don't know what the setting is for this. I couldn't find out, but uh, anyways, uh, the filter media itself is supposed to be a cellulose synthetic media, and I counted sixty-two pleats. It's they're pretty good. They're a little. There's some spaces uh, right here. Could use probably a couple extra pleats, but a little sloppy on the glue here. But not too bad. Not, not, that's not too bad. And let's see. We got uh oh coil leaf spring. These are nice. Very nice. Keep everything nice and tight. Can itself, I was getting about 0.5 millimeters. Four there, six. Yeah, it's it's about. I'd say it's about 0.4 to five. You know, the lip kind of messes this up. Anyways, uh. Let's see what else. Oh, the width. Yeah, I got like one and three, one and three eighths for width. Yeah, overall it looks good. 
feels good. I would use this filter. Uh, looking at this, I would look at. I would. I would use it no problem. Um, I say we cut her open and see how long she is. Okay, here she is all laid out. She's fifty nine and a half inches long. Okay, so here you got your metal core. It's got holes. Bypass. I wonder if I can get this apart. <laughs> yep, here's your bypass valve. How do you like pressing on these? You can see a little spring in there. Yeah, I would have no uh, no problem using this filter. This is a, looks like a pretty good filter. Um, I couldn't find the seam before, and it's right here. It's, it's, the metal's on the inside. I've seen that on other filters too. Strange design, but that's the way they do it. Yeah, like I said, uh, this filter here, I wouldn't have no problem using it. The filter media itself feels like, you know, it feels pretty good. Feels like it's nice and strong. I mean, of course I can rip it, but I mean, it feels pretty good. I wouldn't have no problem using this filter. Well, that's about it for this filter. Hey, if you like the video, Give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Thanks for watching, and take care.